Hi everyone, I'm Asim Tanvir, Senior Community Manager at CI Games. I'm here today to give you a look at and talk you through one of the maps that will be part of Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts when it launches on November 22nd this year. This is Kolshak Harbour, one of five unique regions that will feature in the game and a great example of the sandbox approach we're taking with contracts. It's up to you how you play and what route you take. With five contracts on each map, there's replay value aplenty. For this video though, we're going to focus on the main target. I'm more of a stealthy player though, so let's start off with the silent pistol. I seem to have stumbled upon a couple of guards here. Hmm, what to do? Fire! That will do, a couple of quick headshots and I'm on my way. As I touched upon earlier, this is just one of the routes you can take through this region. With this path, I'm sneaking around the starting area and another part of the map completely. These areas are where the other contracts will be located. I could take my time and try to complete them too, but for the purpose of this video, the main target will do very nicely. I'll come back to the others later. That's the beauty of contracts. You play how you want to. Right, so I think I'm in the area where the main target should be, but before I take in the view and the sunshine, there's an enemy to take care of. Hmm, throwing knife? Yep, yeah, that did the trick. Time to switch to the sniper rifle, but before we get to some serious business, just look at that view. The game looks incredible. Now for the really good stuff. You'll see me using the binocular mode of the Seeker's Mask here, a hugely important feature of the game. Before you snipe or take enemies out, it's always wise to go into this mode and tag them, to make sure you're not caught off guard. Another great feature of the Seeker's Mask is the ability to scan your surroundings. Using this in combination with the binocular mode, you can see here that I'm able to highlight areas of interest and see exactly where this sniper is aiming. Okay, let's get sniping. Here's a look at our new dynamic reticle system. Taking into account distance, wind, height, and bullet drop, it represents our vision to deliver fans the ultimate sniping experience. Once mastered, the satisfaction of nailing a 300 meter plus shot is simply unrivaled. Here you'll see me switching to the luring bullet type. While the enemy here is away from the guys on the boat, best to take him out a bit further away. Okay, it worked. He's fully distracted. Now to quickly switch back to the normal bullet type, and as he walks to check out what the noise is, take him out. So I could go over the bridge here, but given the number of enemies, plus the fact there's a tank and turrets there, it's probably not the best idea given my stealthy playstyle. That's not to say it can't be done though, I've seen it happen, just not by me. They are expecting trouble. Right, I'm underneath the bridge now, but even this route isn't completely clear. There's an enemy here I tagged earlier. Time to snipe him as he gazes across the water and make my way forward. Traversing the environment also plays a part in contracts, so it's a good thing then that the seeker is adept at finding his way around, with style. The handler has a role to play too. Sekov has been bugged. We have intercepted the signal. I will open a channel for you now. You think it's not Mirguy who got Ivanovsky killed? We will be next, I am sure of it. No, my brother would not. We must tell the Americans that we want to leave immediately. Interesting, but we'll get to Igor and Olga later. For now, I have these two guards to worry about. Now might be a good time to try out the decoy trap. Just one of the many gadgets you can purchase as you complete contracts throughout the game. Let's see how this plays out. It 
lured one of the guards away while the other keeps watch. Now is the time to strike. Expertly done. Scanning the area again, just to be sure. Either way, doing it earlier on revealed a couple of areas I could progress through. I think I'll go for the more aerial route. My seeker is an expert sniper after all. Plus, I just love the views. Phew, I made it. A quick scan now, just to see what's around, and onwards. Two more guards here, just chatting away. Hmm, I think I might have an inventive way of taking them out. Then we must simply leave. We do not need their fucking permission. But that will jeopardize the visas we have been promised. They'll keep the deal. Besides, if they try to renege, I have friends in many countries who can pressure them. So, now I've made it to the roof of this building, I could go straight for the sniper there. But I'm being extra careful. And it's a good thing too. There's a camera here. Best to disable it, and then make that sniper's spot my own. Wow, what a view. But I'm not here to sightsee. Let's tag the enemies in this area and see what I have to deal with. It looks like there are a few snipers, an armoured guy and even a drone. There might be more. I could do with some help here. Time to use the trusty tagging bullet for when you need to tag far away enemies or simply check if anyone's around. That worked like a charm. Tagged in orange is the main target, Eagle, and in blue is his wife, Olga. Let's see what they have to say. They have had enough from us. It is time we got what we want. Okay, okay. But give me that phone. It is too dangerous for you to carry it now. Such a delightful family. The world will not miss them. Here. Keep it safe. A lot of people will want this. I know. Be strong, my darling. I could take my time here and eliminate both of them. But in this instance, my focus is Eagle. As I'll have to exfiltrate when he's down, it would be wise to get rid of the biggest threats in this area to make my life just a little bit easier. That means I need to turn my attention to the snipers, an armoured enemy I tagged earlier. Olga is returning to her vehicle. Quick switch to the armor piercing bullet, and this guy shouldn't be a problem. Oh, and now we have a helicopter inbound too. It's for Olga, so no need for me to worry, but a small hint that if I was going for her, that I need to be wary of this. That's all the biggest threats down, now to figure out a way to get Eagle. Scanning the area close to him reveals his car as a way to potentially lure him out. Let's see. That did the trick. Now, time to finish this. And with that, I'll say thanks for watching everyone. Remember. 
Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts launches for PC, PS4 and Xbox One globally on November 22nd. Stay tuned to all our social media channels for the latest updates. Links in the description. Goodbye. That is not my concern, nor yours.